Yeah, I just love starting shit. It's pretty funny. So we are here to retrieve a book for Victor Max. He mentioned about this controversial book that he had to have in his collection. So we are just doing that quest since I heard that it is one of the accomplice accomplishments to have in terms of getting all of the companions to be with you. So I'm going to do his companion quest just so he can actually follow me to my future journeys. Because at this point, I definitely want to get out of Edgewater as soon as possible. And when that happens, I'm curious to see where my journey would take me past beyond this little thing here. I just got a letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater cannery. Effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center, selling rare memorabilia. But scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those books mouldering in some contraband locker. So I stashed them all away in a cave over by the river. Damn! I have to go to some flimsy little cave by the river? Stupid. Okay, well, I guess... Yeah, huh? Thomas seemed very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Are you sure he nearly fell over when he saw you? He never told me a word to that effect. And since he didn't, I didn't have to say nothing about being... about feeling different. And nothing had to get weird. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Okay, let's get back to it. Huh. I wonder if she actually has a crush on him. Oh, well, no matter. Let's head over to... Uh, this cave... Just to get this goddamn book. Smell something. Oh my god, of course we we're not this. alone. Attack! Of course we're not alone. Always the same bullshit. Where's that little demon dog? Oh! Oh, okay, that's cute. You okay? I mean, I just love stealing stuff from dead bodies. It's always been a hobby of mine. In games, not in real life, in games, okay? You hear me? Alright, I guess we go in here. Totally not suspicious at all. Damn, all this for a manual, though? He definitely better become my companion after this, because... I... This whole thing's bullshit. Hopefully it's in here. Let's see. Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. Oh, clever. Say no more. And we got it. Nice. Alright, well in this case, since we got rid of the Marauders and got the book, let's actually head out. I assume this cave leads to an opening of some kind? I hope so. I'm gonna be mad if it doesn't. Okay. Nice. And we're right on Edgewater. Oh my god, so convenient.
All right, Vicar. I got what you needed, so you better enjoy this. Any progress on that matter we discussed? I've got your book right here. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? What do you is mean? French? I can't fucking read French. <laughs> it's How's... a law-forsaken joke is what it is. Okay. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. Um... You didn't want that book to keep others from reading it. You just wanted it for yourself. Well, uh... Yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Ha! <laughs> this has to be some kind of cosmic retribution. Yes, you're right. Such are the workings of the equation. And I've only my own hubris to blame. They certainly never planned for this contingency. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. What's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. What? I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick or any. Twenty is really. a grown up. Vicar. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. <laughs> is that all part of your vicar training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. Are you even a vicar? Because you are sounding very vicarly right now. Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Okay. Then I came here. Satisfied? Okay. Preacher who's been in prison. And you know what? That really does come for me because I know you're not really good at two shoes. So. I don't think you were being completely honest with me about that book. What's the story? It's the journal of one of the originators of the Philosophy School of Thought, though it would be more than a century before it was perverted into that belief system. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of that came later. Bokonu had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Okay. And how'd you get assigned to prison duty? Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worse idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's the long and short of it. So, what do you think? Prisoned for his religious beliefs that won against the superiors. Very classic act. Sounds good, let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. And to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Nice.
that is pretty pretty nice. So now I got two I got one person who is willing to be on my ship crew. And then I got Provardi who's willing to be my companion, so let's get on to the main quest. Actually I lied, I'm not doing the main quest as of yet, but however, I'm going to try and get some of these books for her friend Thomas, so it's up here somewhere, is it? Let me see. Yeah, it's in here. Okay. Got one. Perfect. And I assume the other one's over there, so... Let me just run through quickly. Everyone is ignoring me. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So if I found the first two volumes, I wonder where the third one could be. Oh, come on! It's outside! Damn. Alright, I guess I'll be heading outside. I guess the second one's somewhere in some abandoned place or something. We had to go back to the community center. The same center where we found the medicine for Albernatni. And I did see a couple of people upstairs, so it looks like we're definitely not alone. So I'm ready. Huh, I guess I'm seeing things. Alright, so I got the second one. Now the thing is... Thomas did mention three books, but... I don't see any third book on my map, so... Now I'll definitely get to the main quest. Here it is. This is the plant. Now this is where... Oh, I to poke in here. This is where shit gets down at this point. You know, I think it's not safe for me to go through these things. Let me see if I can turn it off. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. And there's a dead person in here. Oh, thank heavens. There's an opening here. With a lot of marauders. So, this is definitely not a safe area. Anyways. We got this. We got this. So far, the quest has been pretty good so far. Do I enjoy Edgewater? I mean... No, I don't. It's pretty weird. Like, I can't get over the fact that this town is so corporate-heavy on everything. Right down to basic human necessities. It's pretty disgusting, to be honest. I can actually hack? Let me see. Ooh, disarm security fences. Yes, perfect. That way, if we need to leave, we can leave through the front. Okay, nice. Let's go. I just love telling her what to do. I mean, in terms of attacking, of course. Yeah, I'm running out of ammo for this gun, and this is a nice one, too. Who is she fighting? Oh, shit. There's more? Alright, no more for this gun. Um, I'll pick this one. Beautiful, we got rid of everyone here, so let's get inside. Through here? Yeah, through here. Wow. I totally forgot what this place looked like for a second. Be ahead somewhere and a touch to the right. Got you. We're doing the right thing. We are. No worries. Oh, this gun. Sick! Wow! And that thing is... Wow. Whew. 
This gun is no joke. I'm gonna use this more often, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking everything. What about it? Stop judging me. Alright, so I unlocked some door here. Pretty nice. But I'm not only here for... That I still need to get a few things from Ludwig. Alright, that's the control room. I'm not. Ooh! I'm not interested in that for now. Holy cow! Oh, I just love how that disappeared. That's funny. Okay, that's the exit. Wow. This is insane. This whole place went to shits. It's pretty sad. Real sad. I had to borrow your copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio's been sputtering and I need the reference. I returned the copy to the re for the repair bay. I knew it! The third one is in here. That is so convenient. I can do, like, three quests all at once. Alright, let me see. What's this? No, no, no. That's going out. I'm not trying to go out. First of all, it's in here, right? Oh, I don't have it. I don't have enough. That sucks. That's a lot of uh, lockpicks that I need to get just to get that thing. For Ludwig. Oh. That's your password? Yes. I need 62. Wait, optional. Geothermal security cheese key card. So if I find a key card, then I won't have to worry about that. Okay. Say no more. Um, at this point, I'm just going to explore... System. What? Incoming. Oh shit. Here I, go. I just love the animation that the companions do. What the hell? Is it still alive? I I gotta upgrade your your power because that robot took a massive hit, but it didn't even That plant worker is dead. Whatever. I don't see anything here, so. Ooh, I see something here. Yep, that's it. Come on, let's go. But yeah, we definitely need to go to the repair bay to get that third book for, for uh, Thomas. Repair bay. Okay, so it's not in here, is it? Yeah, volume three. Down in the pit? It's somewhere down in the pit. Alright, it's down in the pit. Show me. Down there. Okay. Bet. Say no more. Go away, Phantom. What? Phantom? Someone is in distress. Let's go help, I guess. You're not real. You're not real. Okay. This guy is tripping balls, but I hope he doesn't try and attack me cuz that would suck. All right, he's around this corner. Uh, bro. You're not real. You're not real. Go I am real. Me, Phantom. Shoot, scram. I am real, bro. What are you talking about? Um, gr calm down. I'm not trying to hurt you. You can talk? Yeah. The Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Uh, you're eating sprats? Of course. 
Sprouts are an excellent source for my daily recommended intake of mercury. Chester mercury? D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Okay, Chester. Um, how long have you been down here? Hmm, hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Uh-huh, and what exactly do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. How have... Well, you know what? What happened to this place? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. You mentioned being an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. If you worked in these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Um, uh, I can deal with mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. Really? I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic modules. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Any idea where I can find the logic module? Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. I'll just excuse myself. And I'll take this book here. Man, man. Thomas is going to be really excited once I delivered all of the books to him. And I'll return to him later. Right now, we need to get started on the power, making sure these robots don't kill us, a whole bunch of shit. This is like a mind maze in, in here. And you must be the guard that I'm looking for. And I got a light machine gun. Whew. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Uh. Let me see. Modified behavior, define intruders. Anyways, this should be good. Alright, so we got the key card. Let's go back now because I definitely want to get that card for Lootwig. Yeah, this whole place is so huge. It's like a mine maze in here. Oh, I got it! I got it! Let's go. It's crazy how everything is leading to this. Like... Once we do this, there's no going back. Huh, you're not... Huh. Listen, thanks for the reminder. You don't have to tell me twice. Alright, so everything is pretty good, so... Three electrical track switches. Oh, we got one more to do. All right, let's go. Come on. We got one more track switch. I did do the first two while I was doing the other two missions. I know I'm like all over the place at this point, but you know, I like to multitask, so 
Way over here? Oh, okay. So I really have to go down over here. Up through here. Oh, this is the... Okay. I've been through here earlier. I didn't know I was supposed to be here, but... Screw it. Alright, let's go. At this point, we'll be out of here in no time. Man, this is a big factory, I gotta admit. Alright, moment of truth. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? Yeah. I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Alright, so... As I continue to point my gun straight, let me go and redirect power to Edgewater. All right, let's head out. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies and I'll see you next week.